Hi guys, it's Rob Moringa here. So I have just been kicked off Facebook. Uh, I went, <laughs> yesterday I was on it, today I went on it, or tried to, and it said your account's been disabled, show us a photo of your ID to get a review of this kind of thing. Um, but I don't see that going anywhere because similar minor incidents have happened years in the past and it's uh, it's not gone anywhere, it's been, it's been Kafkaesque. So, I basically made a, a, a status about um, Mr. George Floyd and his arrest and death. Um, I could have stated it more tactfully, definitely, but um, I was basically trying to say what's going on. The overarching narrative, I think, is a class war, not a race war. Um, I think the family do deserve justice for the way he died, for sure. Um, I'll get to some mental health stuff in a minute, but I really do have to address this because I've just been censored. No free speech for me. So, Candace Owens, who I hate to have to say it, but I know a lot of you care, is black, okay? She's a black lady. I don't care if she's blue or green or fucking turquoise. She's black, okay? Which, and I know most of you take that as an authority on this. And it's a bit pathetic. So... She's got a video called, I do not support George Floyd, and here's why, okay? And she details for about 18 minutes his extensive criminal act, criminal history, uh, including the very first thing I put on my Facebook status, which got me banned. People, someone launched a campaign against my band, Cats on the Beach. Um, I might as well mention it now. They've given us lots of publicity, which, which I'm very grateful for, but um, not in the nicest of... Of ways. Anyway, I'd pointed out that, that Mr. George Floyd once pointed, not when he was a kid, uh, once pointed, not when he was a kid, uh, once pointed a, a gun at a pregnant woman's stomach. That's all I said. And that his name was Mr. George Floyd, and people don't like the truth, and it's a class war, not a race war, um, and some other stuff. I, I didn't go on Facebook for a few days um, <laughs> before I got kicked off today. Um, so, I heard this from multiple sources now. Well, let me let me just stipulate. I don't want to be saying this. I, I just respect the truth, okay? And when I see America, and maybe the whole world just descending into the civil war, and not and not just the sort of hot air people talk about, oh, we're always so dead, like genuinely now, um, you know, urban combat on the streets, major cities in America, and the rest, you've all seen the footage, or you should, you should see it. Um... I did not want to say that because I knew what would happen. I, I knew I know people's emotions get the best of them at the, at the best of times, and this is a pandemic, and everyone sees another a horrible footage of of a horrible person killing killing a black person, and it it becomes like in the Russian Revolution. They say one of the Cossack police's winks to the crowd in 1917 indicated the start of the revolution, the Soviet Revolution, which didn't turn out very. Very well, but if that's an oversimplification, people like to have an image, you know, um, uh, and this, unfortunately, in this day and age, a video of someone dying is, is the image for this. Anyway, George, George Floyd, <laughs> so I did not want to say it, okay? Um, I spent most, I, I lost my job, in fact, I'll say it outright, I lost my job because I stuck up for the, pretty much, I, there were two black kids in the class, both of whom were getting psychologically tortured, I would not, that's not an exaggeration by the teacher, and I reported it after several nights, <laughs> several sleepless nights and speaking to friends, one of whom was a lawyer, said, report that, you can't speak to this teacher about it, she's too malevolent. And I did, and I lost my job, and I lost my YouTube channel, and it all went tits up, so... Uh, I hate to have to reel these off. One of my best friends, who's just been on the channel, uh, is from Somalia. Um, I bet a lot of you don't even know where that is. Who, who, are, who, are, who would yell racist at someone who questions the, the sainthood of someone who would do the following. So George Floyd pretended to work for the water department. Um, then him and five other, sorry, him, he was in a van with four other people, while one other person pretended to be from the water department at a pregnant woman's house. She tried to slam the door, they barged in. George Floyd was the one who held the gun at the pregnant woman's stomach and um, was got five years in prison for it and was released in 2014. So I did that. And people didn't like it. I said that on Facebook, pointed it out. Um, 
knowing what we're coming away, we're not quite anticipating the intensity of it. Um, and the truth will get you kicked off. Isn't it interesting how... Um, <laughs> why have they kicked me off now? You know, I've talked about mental health, I've talked about uh, immigration with, uh, with people, with non-white people. I've made statuses about um, Islam. I've, I've uh, um, Christianity, Buddhism jokes about Buddhism, jokes about Hinduism and all the rest of it. Why now? Is it is it because I just pointed out that there's actually a class war, not a race war going on and we're all being duped? Um, they popped Malcolm X just after we said that. Um, I'm Martin Luther King, I believe. Um, and my storage on this full on here. I don't miss Facebook, guys. Um, <laughs> but who knows our last on, on YouTube. Um, mental health-wise, just keep saying what you think, no matter what the cost, because the price of self-suppression is self-hatred, and, and that's no good. Although you might want to do a cost-benefit analysis, because... It's not nice being uh, kicked off things with everyone thinking you're racist when you lost your job defending a 10-year-old uh, black um, boy. <laughs> so have a great day and bye-bye.